So have you ever wanted to do DuckDuckGo searches from the terminal? Well, with the tool we're looking at today, you can. So we're looking at a program called DDGR. So if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe and ding the little bell icon down below because it'll really help the channel out. I'm aiming for a thousand subs and any help will be really appreciated. So now that's out of the way, let's get started. Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to the channel. So you may have heard of another project by the name of Googler and basically that's the same thing as this but instead of using DuckDuckGo it uses Google but I use DuckDuckGo on a daily basis so we're going to look at this one first. I might do a video on Googler at some point but for now we're going to look at this. So this is the GitHub page for DDGR. It's fairly simple. We've got this GIF in here but we're not going to go over that because I'm going to show you what it actually does in a second. So for installing it, it's fairly simple. So if you're on Arch, you can install it from the AUR using yay-s ddgr, or if you'd rather install it manually, you can come to the AUR page and copy the link, bring up a terminal and go GCL, or sorry, git clone. I shouldn't use my aliases in the videos because some people won't actually understand what they are. That will then clone the repo and we'd come in here into ddgr, and we go sudo make make pkg dash si running sorry not sudo why did I do that just make package dash si and that will then install it and basically I've already got it installed so that's going to go through fairly quickly I'm going to cancel that off so if you're on any other distros then uh, it's pretty much in your standard repos if you're on macOS you can install it with brew or you can also install the snap package and the pip version. You could also just build it from source as well if you'd rather do that. So to use DDGR, it is fairly simple. So there's two main sort of modes. You've got the strictly command line mode and you've got the sort of interactive mode. So I didn't actually know the command line mode actually existed until today. So if you wanna set the browser you're using, you just need to set the browser that you're exporting from your shell config. So for me, we bring up my bash profile bash underscore profile and we look in here and we've got mine set to Firefox in here so that'll just open up Firefox whenever I'm using DDGR and if you're using a text-based browser that'll work perfectly fine as well if you are someone who prefers using those so the way that this works is fairly simple so to do a basic search we can just write DDGR and then whatever query you want so let's say DDGR and hello world that will then run a search for hello world and give our results. So if we want to do something else in here, like let's say we want to cycle through the pages. So that's fairly simple. We write question mark and that will bring up the help menu. So to go to the next page, we just write N and press enter. That will bring up the next page of help. We go P and enter. That will bring us back to the first page. We go P again and that will say we are already at the first page. So what other things have we got? So if we go to the next page and the next page and the next page and we type in F, that will then bring us back to the first page. So fairly simple. We can also open up any of these links. So if we want to open up, let's say the first one, for example, we can go just whatever number. The first one, I think it's indexed from one. Okay, so we write in one, that will then open up that page. So in my thingy over here, my web browser, that will then open up whatever the first link was. I guess it's a website called helloworld.com. You can also open up a range of addresses. So if you do say O and then I think it's something like one to three, is that how that works? Maybe one to three, okay. One dash three is how it opens and then it'll open up all three of those. So that is fairly simple as well. So bring up the help menu again. We can also copy the URL to our clipboard. So if we go C and then zero, that will copy the link. Sorry, C and one, I, I'm used to programming where indexes start from zero, not one. Copy that and we come over to our browser and I guess we can use this. That will then copy the helloworld.com link into our clipboard. So fairly simple there. What else we got in here? So if we wanna quit out of DDGR, we can just press Q and then press enter. And that's fairly simple. If you want to do a keyword search with the original options, then we can press D and then pass in the keywords. And that is pretty much everything really. This also supports bang searches as well. I don't know if they work like this. So if we do bang A and then uh, shirt, does that shift, whatever. 
That wasn't what I was trying to do. But yeah, that will do bang searches with whatever bang you want to use for DuckDuckGo. So that was the Amazon bang. So it searched for shift on Amazon and that worked perfectly fine as you would expect it to. So we've also got some other options here. So if we want to go back out of this now and go back here, so we can actually do some of the other searches from the just general terminal without having to be in that sort of interactive mode. So I'm feeling ducky, which is DuckDuckGo's equivalent of Google's I'm feeling lucky. We can do this in here. So DDGR-J and then the query we want to pass in. So lucky ducks. I don't know what that's going to open up. Oh, this is a, I guess this is a website. What is, what even is this? I didn't test this beforehand. Oh, it's for duck hunting. Okay, <laughs> sure. Anyway. Yeah, that basically works as you would expect. So you can also do bang searches from the command line. So that's just basically passing in that as a search query like we had before. So if we want to do that again here, we can do dash W. Was it dash W? No, sorry. That was the bang it passed in. So bang A, that will bring up Amazon. And we can search for light. That work? No, it didn't work. Why didn't that work? I guess only some of the bang searches work from this command line mode. That's odd. I didn't realize that. So if we run it like this, will that work? No, that's not working as well. Interesting. So maybe it's changed since this version came out or something, or they just didn't update the documentation. But you can always do bang searches from within the actual interactive sort of mode thingy. So if you want to do a website specific search, you can do dash W. So like we did with the bang search before, you can do a search on Amazon by just passing in this. So this will work with a lot of websites that have search built into them. So things like Wikipedia, DuckDuckGo. Actually, I reckon you probably could do DuckDuckGo. That was, a, that was me misspeaking, but I reckon you probably could. So you can also do things like Wikipedia, Wikia, other websites that have search bars, Gumtree, eBay, you know what websites have search bars. But if we do it like this, that will then search amazon.com for digital cameras. So that will bring up all the results on amazon.com. It actually won't open them up like we saw before. So if we want to open up one of these, like we saw before, we can do, let's say we want to open up this one in here. So number nine, we open that up and that will then bring up whatever that result was. So this will be some random digital cameras. So was there anything else on here? So you can actually do things like search for specific file types. So if we want to search in here for, let's say, let's just do what what's here. So we run that, that will then take a second to run. And this is just let's open up nine. Oh, I guess it's opening up a way to buy some, oh, I guess there are some MP3 files on here. So you can actually play part of the track or maybe you can play over. I don't know. I don't buy music from Amazon. I don't know anyone who actually does. So another cool thing you can do is you can actually search for something in a different language and then do the auto translate for it. So if you want the IPL cricket results from India in English, then we can do this. So DDGR, actually we probably need to do that from outside. We run that here. So DDGR-RIN-EN. So I'm guessing that's IN for India and then dash EN for English. IPL cricket. Maybe that's why that one didn't work before because I searched actually in the prompt. Anyway, we're at this point now. <laughs> so this will bring cricket results up, I guess. I don't really care about cricket, but we'll click a random one. Let's go five this time. So let's see. This will bring up the India Times and this is an Indian website in English, I guess. That's cool. And what else did we have? So you can do things like searching for quoted text. So if you need something to be important in your text, you just need to escape the quotes. Fairly simple stuff. You've probably seen it in other things before. So if you want to show complete URLs and search results instead of only the domain name. Oh, I didn't realize it was only doing that. Right, because it's just showing like Wikipedia and Okay, so if we do DDGR-X and then for whatever search we want, so let's say we want, I don't know, Arch Linux. Run that, and that will then show the full URLs for anything in here. So we've got things like archlinux.org, the Arch Linux wiki, Arco, and that just shows the full URL. Nothing too special there, but 
it's actually important to have that full URL just so you are 100% sure what website you're actually looking at. So I've noticed that occasionally this will bring back results that are very different than what I get from using the web version of DuckDuckGo. I don't know why. Maybe it has something to do with the cookies that it's storing on my computer. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe someone knows why it sometimes is different. There's probably some obvious reason for it that I just don't know about, but I'm not sure. So that's pretty much everything. Yeah, we're at the bottom of this. Is there anything interesting in the man page that we didn't go over? So, oh God, this is probably gonna be really long, isn't it? Yes, okay. Uh, I'm not gonna go through all of that. We've got some examples here. So we got through that one, that one, that one. Yep, we went over. Oh, you can tunnel traffic through an HTTPS proxy. That probably should have been in the GitHub. So if you want to do that, then I guess that'll work. And yeah, that's pretty much everything for DDGR, I reckon. So I don't use DDGR myself, but I can definitely see the use for it if you're actually someone who likes to pretty much live within your terminal all the time. I typically have a web browser already open, but if you're someone who doesn't and only opens it when you absolutely need it, then I can definitely see the use for this. So if you like this video, remember to smash that like button and leave me a comment down below to let me know what you think. If you've used this application before, maybe you've used Googler, let me know what you use it for and maybe let some other people know if there's a productive use for it. So if you want to see more videos like this, remember to subscribe and ding the little bell icon down below because it'll really help the channel out. Down below I've got all my links like my Discord, my library and my Twitter and my Mastodon. So go check those out down below if you want to see any of those. And I think that's pretty much everything. Up on that corner, I've got the playlist that this video will be in. So go check that out if you want to see other videos like this. And now I think that's pretty much everything for me. So I'm out.